City Hospice touches the lives of every community in Cardiff. It may be that we've cared for a family member during the end of their life, or perhaps a friend of yours will have accessed our bereavement counselling service following the death of a loved one. Every year, more than 1,200 families benefit from the exceptional care that City Hospice provides. It is a privilege to be part of so many lives in Cardiff and so often our supporters will share their most precious stories with us. It might be the joy, the laughter that they shared with a loved one, those precious memories that they hold in their hearts. And this is what City Hospice helps to create. By providing exceptional palliative care, it means that our patients can live their longest and fullest life for as long as possible. Providing families with the opportunity to create those precious memories. The Forever Flowers campaign provides an opportunity for us to come together and celebrate life in one of Cardiff's most iconic locations, Cardiff Castle. This year's Forever Flower will be a sunflower, which symbolises admiration, devotion, loyalty and positivity. Natalie Bruno and her family have kindly agreed to share their story as part of our Forever Flowers campaign and to acknowledge the exceptional care which they received when John, Natalie's dad, was sadly diagnosed with cancer in 2020 and sadly passed away in 2021. Kat, our clinical nurse specialist, will be reading the Bruno family story today. In November 2020, we sadly received the diagnosis that my dad John had stage four kidney cancer. Dad was very lucky to have mum with him for his scans and appointments with a consultant at UHW where they were given his diagnosis. We were shocked to receive this devastating news and City Hospice was soon there to care for dad and to support us as a family. From the very first visit with the doctor and our nurse, we knew we were in safe hands. We appreciated the time taken to fully explain Dad's illness, to enable Dad to stay th at home safely, advice regarding financial matters to the wonderful nursing care. The support was excellent. Whenever Mum or Dad needed help, it was always at hand. It was even more difficult due to the pandemic, as Mum was shielding too to keep Dad safe and we were unable to come together as a family as often as we would have liked. Something we will always be so grateful for is that Kat took the time to get to really know Dad as a person and not just a patient. He was such a character and it took Kat no time at all to get to bond with him and he trusted her. She was also there to support my mum and us as a family during this really difficult time and helped us navigate our way through it. Just 10 months after Dad was diagnosed, he sadly passed away in the comfort of his own home, surrounded by his family, which was his wish. I have no doubt that without the support of City Hospice, this would not have been possible. Cardiff Castle has always been a special place to us as a family. I have memories of days out with my mum and dad as a child and the tradition carried on with their grandchildren. Lyra has enjoyed many a day out there so to be part of Forever Flowers at Cardiff Castle is really fitting. It would be lovely to visit the display and have a flower there dedicated to a much loved and greatly missed husband, dad and Bamp. As John's nurse, it has truly been a privilege to be able to share this story with you today. Now more than ever, we need to come together as a community and celebrate life. Your Forever Flower will be part of an amazing display at Cardiff Castle made up of thousands of flowers. This vibrant display will be in place from the 30th of July through to the 14th of August. Each Forever Flower is priced at £25 and available from the City Hospice website. This year there is even the opportunity to personalise your Forever Flower following the event. On the last weekend, you will have the opportunity to collect your flower or we can arrange for collection following the display. Let's come together as a community and remember our loved ones.